What's up everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel coming at you extremely late. Again, I greatly apologize for this. I just been off my game on trying to make videos of my trades. Again, mainly because I have a full-time day job and I'm a father of a five-year-old that I absolutely, without a doubt, love. Every time that I trade, I'm committed to making a video uh, trade re recap or trying to record the actual trade while it's happening. Um, lately, it's been uh, just mainly recaps. I'm extremely happy with this trade. I didn't make as much as I hoped for, but it's not about the money for me. It really isn't. I know that sounds ridiculous when we are trading, when we're traders, day traders in the stock market. That's what it's all about, right? Making the money. But really what beginner traders do not understand and why most day traders um, fail and lose money is because they don't have a set of guidelines. They don't have rules. They don't have a strategy, an actual full out from start to finish strategy. And that's what I have here, guys. I have a full strategy that I'm absolutely, without a doubt, trying to nail down the actual strategy and um, be, um, for lack of a better, better way of explaining it, I'm trying to be a robot, an emotionless robot when trading the stock market. And that's gonna uh, you know, keep me out of trouble. And a quick recap here before I start, for anybody new uh, on the channel or just now, very first time watching any of my videos, off to the left hand side, we have the one minute chart, intraday chart of the options that I traded today. The middle chart, we have our main chart, which is our one hour chart on SPY. And the far right, we have the daily chart on SPY. The daily chart is the actual chart and direction of which we want to trade. So meaning if the daily chart says up, we're only looking to trade the market up or if it says down, then we're only looking to short the market. So as of right now, and it's been that way since basically December 6th, we've been trading the upside to the upside uh, buying calls here. So today I did get a signal here on the one hour candlestick and my rules are I get in on the beginning of the very next candle in which the signal came in. So in this particular case, I got in right at 8.30 and I was looking at the 3.27 calls that expire, I believe in seven days. Let me take a quick look. Yes, seven days. I bought two, two of the 3.27 call options that expire in seven days, um, bought them at 2.55, just you know a couple of seconds actually, uh, right before that candle actually closed. And then I set my first sell order for 10% gain, which was at this particular point, 280. And it executed at 856. And this was me, I believe. I had the high there for, for a bit before it actually blew up. But um, again, my strategy says as soon as I get a signal, uh, sell half at 10%. The other half, I'm either going to sell at the uh, same price where I got in or I'm looking for bigger gains. And in this particular trade, um, it actually it went to 280 and then it came back down. And did I actually? Yeah, I actually sold right here. This is actually me. So you can see volume right here. And I actually ended up selling that last one for even money at 255. And then look what happened. And then it actually went higher. Those options actually went higher to 293. But hey, that's fine because look what actually ended up happening, guys. The strategy itself is actually uh, actually called a bad trade here. Um, look what happened. We uh, we got this signal here, buy signal, get in, um, fell to go much higher there, and then it closed below this lower Mobo band. And at that point. Um, I'm supposed to sell out completely. Now, again, I just want to reiterate here. Had I not um, gotten the opportunity to sell at a 10% gain, or if it fell, it didn't get to a 10% gain, and then it fell right back down, and then actually closed below the uh, lower uh, mobile band, I'm supposed to get out at a loss. Now, sometimes, sometimes when that happens, and it is going to happen, guys, there will be a time when 
Um, it just doesn't get it. It doesn't get it. It's a completely bad signal. Uh, not everything's 100% foolproof and you're selling at a loss. And sometimes this loss can be 40, 50, 60%. And the idea here of me selling at 10% gain is it's gonna cover those bad trades. Now, I don't have to be right all the time. My, uh, the strategy uh, per backtesting, per all of the uh, data and research, it's right more of the times. And there's a big sort of maybe controversy. Everybody has a different opinion, but either, you know, are, are you supposed to make more trades, more winning trades and losing trades, or can you actually have more losing trades and winning trades so long as your winning trades are bigger than your losing trades, if that makes any sense. This particular strategy, I have found that it actually makes more good trades, more um, trades in the uh, right direction rather than bad trades. So this situation right here illustrates exactly what good money management skills will do for your trading, guys. Um, it's with, you don't always have to be right in the general direction. Um, so long that you have great, or, you know, I can even say as far as excellent money management skills, you can make money in the stock market, guys. You just have to find that edge, find that strategy. And this strategy works for me. And it's it's supposed to protect me. My my strategy, my, my plan, my rules are supposed to protect me. And this is exactly why. Uh, had I not had a plan set or strategy set, I could have just not sold anything and then actually been at a loss. I mean, look at this loss. Um, I'm supposed to get out on the beginning of the following candle of which the signal came in. This particular time, the signal came in at the end of 12.30 my time, at the beginning of 13.30, 1.30 my time. So what would it that been if I would have held and sold there 13.30? Right there, 191 guys. From the original buy of 255, down selling to 191. That is that represents a 25% loss there. Had I just not sold anything at all and actually just uh, took that huge loss instead of made money. But um, some people will argue with me as far as saying, well, you didn't make um, that much money. It's not about the actual amount of money um, that, that I got basically that I made today. It's the fact that I actually have a strategy in place, a plan in place, and I'm following through with that strategy. Um, that means a lot more than than anything, really. So I, I apologize greatly uh, for this video being out so late or not getting it to you any sooner. I promise to you guys that um, I'm going to try my best to get these videos out sooner, sooner than I have been. Uh, just my, my, my day job and my life sort of gets in the way. But I'm still committed on getting you guys all of the details of all of my trades. At a later video, I'm going to truly break down um, this strategy and how I'm using it to make money in the stock market. And also, it's not just SPY that I can trade. I can uh, trade Apple, Facebook, Tesla, uh, Google, Amazon, the Qs. Um, this strategy seems to work on all of those. So stay tuned for more content, guys, in the future. Uh, like and subscribe to my uh, channel. I would greatly appreciate that. Comment down below. Comment down below what you made money on. If you have any questions about day trading in general or SPY or this strategy that I'm using, it's called the Mobo Band Strategy, guys. I will put a link in the description down below that'll take you directly to the videos that explain this uh, strategy uh, from start to finish. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll see you here again on the very next trade, hoping that it's another green trade, guys. Talk to you guys later. Take care.